grand finals underway, guys. I hope everybody's ready for this. This is gonna be awesome. Once again, guys, this is the grand finals of IPL3 at Atlantic City. This is for 30K and 12K. Make some noise! Make some noise. Oh my God, Pain user, I am right. so excited for this. As am I, and I'm very glad to be casting the Grand Finals with you, buddy. It's Fin all mine, finally man. made it out here. We've been casting since like early days of the beta, but enough about that. It's not our time, it's their time. Take it away, HD. All right, in the bottom left-hand corner of Zelnaga Fortress, we have our pink Power Ranger Zerg. Make some noise for Millennium Stefano! <laughs> The right side of Zelnaga Fortress, we have his opponent coming out of nowhere. This guy is the luckiest man in StarCraft 2. Let's hear it for FX Opens Lucky! Yeah. There it is. There it is indeed. The game is underway. Game one of the finals. This is a best of seven here. Yep. Uh, so we are going to have a lot of ZVZ action, and we already have a gas. Uh, just for the extractor trick, actually, he's not going to get a super early pool. Mm -hmm. And Stefano just playing standard as can be. Yeah, now, in ZBZ, you can open up with the 15 hatch. It really depends on the map. If you've got a map that has a closed-off natural, you can definitely go for 15 hatch. A lot of times, ooh. those Zerg players will open up with a quick pool and gas, and is that ooh for Stefano's quick pool? Yeah, that was a quick 10 pool out of him. Mm. He's also getting a gas immediately behind that, so okay. probably going to see some early speedling pressure. He might actually go with Ling Bling. Yep. Uh, the only way we'll know that is if he pulls off of gas after he gets speed, or if he continues to mine gas after he gets speed. That'll signify to me that he's probably going to get a wow. Baneling Nest soon and it after. it looks like FXO's Lucky is going to go ahead and go for a 15 hatch here. Now on this map, 15 hatch is actually a little bit vulnerable. This is a pretty wide open natural expansion. Uh, I feel like Stefano's quick pool on 10 here, if he follows, follows this up with some Ling Bling pressure, I don't know if Lucky is going to be able to deal with that. Yeah, Lucky actually getting his uh, pool on 16 there. Ooh, so he did sneak out an additional later. two drones, um, you know, trying to get a little bit greedy here. And yeah. You know, I, I really don't think that this is going to pay off for him. We've we've got Lings already uh, underway here. Actually, Stefano's not making why, any Lings. Well, he should be. Yeah, he's, <laughs> making an over, he's making an Overlord and a drone despite getting that quick 10 pull. Now, the nice thing about getting the pull early on is you do get the Queen right away. He's going to have a very fast Queen. If he's not going to make any Lings here, then what's the point of the early pool if he's not going to try and establish some, some pressure on the opposite side of the map? There we go, finally making Lings now. I was yep. worried there for a second. I didn't think he was going to pressure, but he is indeed going to pressure, and he's been continuing to mine gas, so he is going to get that yep. Baneling Nest. Yep. He just dropped that down, and it got immediately scouted by Lucky's Overlord. So Lucky knows exactly what's coming his way, and he can prepare accordingly. The question is, can he prepare in time? Does he have enough time to get ready for this aggression? The one thing about Zerg versus Zerg, unlike other Zerg matchups, is you can place Overlords all over the center of the map, and that is absolutely key to seeing what your opponent is producing, what is coming out of his natural expansion, and right now, Lucky should realize there's a lot of links coming in for him, so immediately, he throws a spine collar at his front door, but really, he is at a deficit right now because there's a lot of links coming out for Stefano, and I really feel like Lucky is going to have to get a little bit lucky if he wants to hold off this pressure. Lucky getting lucky? We'll have to see if he can. Well, he certainly held off the first wave. No Banelings produced yet. Speed is about to finish here. Yep. I like that he's getting that spine crawler in the front. He's actually bringing both queens as well because... That's very smart. You know, as I said earlier, that Overlord from Lucky just slid right in there, saw the Baneling nest, and mm -hmm. he actually pulled the Overlord away as to not let Stefano know that he had seen the Baneling nest. So he's going to be able to overcompensate and prepare. Now, the nice thing about the spine crawler is it does keep the Banelings away from sniping and training on Lings. Uh, now, here comes Stefano. He's going to go in with all of his forces. His Banelings not choosing to ignite yet, and there they go, detonating on a couple of Lings. Uh, it looks like Stefano certainly has ground over the natural. He killed off the spine crawler, ladies and gentlemen, so he definitely has a position to do some damage, but a great transfuse from Lucky. Keeps the Queen alive for a little bit longer, and we are having a Zerg versus Zerg all-out war. Can Stefano get up the ramp? There's really nothing to kill here at the natural. It all depends on whether or not 
Renata can get up this ramp. The queens are running low on life. They have to pull back. They're using transfuse. Oh, wow. Lucky is doing a great job. Brilliant micro right there from Lucky, swapping out the two queen positions. Yeah. Additional lings coming in now. He might be able to hold on here. All the queens have gone down, and there are only there's only one Zergling remaining, but reinforcements streaming in right now for yeah. Stefano. He has a ton of lings on the way. Both players now even on Harvesters. And one spine crawler going up at the top of the ramp here. He needs to get that up and running. He might end up losing this natural hatchery. And if he loses the natural, he is going to be pretty far behind, I feel. Yeah, that, that natural expansion is actually the only thing that's really keeping uh, Lucky ahead in this game because, of course, Stefano has so many ground units uh, out on the field. One important thing to note as well is a lot of queens went down for Lucky. So Lucky taking some big damage there as those queens are very important to making sure you have enough lings on the field. Now, it looks like uh, it looks like the Zerg player is going to go ahead and engage Stefano's banelings. The banelings are about to pop out, and it looks like Lucky has to pull back. He really can't stay there for too long as the banelings will pop out the spawn. Crawler at the front is most likely gonna go down, and it is in the red. It drops, and now the hatchery once again. Pain user is defenseless. Yeah, Lucky's in a lot of trouble here. I don't think he can hold on. There's three yeah. additional banelings at the natural. He's actually not going for the main. I, I think that Stefano has an opportunity to here to just maybe end the game. Mm -hmm. There's no defenses in the main right now. He's gonna send these three banelings onto wow. the creep in the main. Gonna head over to the drone line. Actually, yeah, he is yes, gonna head to the drone line. head for the drone line. Oh, oh God. my God! And I think that is going to be game, folks. Additional Zergling streaming in. And I think Stefano is going to take game one in the grand There's finals. There's the GG. There is the GG. And the winner is Stefano for the very first game of the grand finals here at IPL.